Hello everyone. This is Amit Pandey and we are here to discuss one of the toughest questions and uh, some new concept based on this question. So first of all, I just want to say that if you want to go if you want to be good in arithmetic, you have to be very good in reading. You have to read it as you used to read in English or something else. So first of all, make your mind that this is simple story. Understand the questions. Read it as many times as possible. So first of all, break out the language of the question. So like this is the question I am having in front of me. So what will I do here? I just see. I stationary. Let let me read first. I'll explain each and everything related to this question, and we will definitely going to learn a new concept in this particular. question or you can say that a new concept from this particular question so the number uh, let's start reading a stationary dealer buys it pencils okay it's a very simple line he buys it pencils very simple line if he sells x of them at a profit of x percent it's very simple also the remaining at a profit of this percent no problem what is the minimum profit the stationery dealer could have made on this trade if it is given that he buys each pencils at rupees 40 is okay if someone gives me this question and they want me to solve it i can simply calculate the profit let me do that let me write it for you guys you understand okay he had 80 pencils he sold x of them at a profit of x percent okay so it means he sold x pencils 40% profit and cp of each pencil is 40 so i can say that profit on these x pencils is 40% of x into 40 you understand that 40% of x into 40 it's a very simple language question because they they uh yeah he sells x of them cp 40 and this is not 40% this is actually x% percent. so uh, no need to worry just write here x hmm. so x% percent of 40 into x this is it like this okay x% percent. hmm now you have to multiply Okay, you got the CP forty, profit percent x percent of forty, then into x you get the profit. This is the simple language you have written here. Okay, this is the profit on the x number of pencils. How much pencils you are having? Eighty pencils. So that is eighty minus x. Now you talk about profit percent. So you gonna write here on these. So that is they are selling it. Are at this profit, so you'll say hundred minus x percent of forty into how many pence are remaining? Eighty minus x, like this. Now, very simply, you can say that the total profit is total profit is. You can say like this: that x percent of x into 40 plus 100 minus x percent of 40 into 80 minus x. You you can say that. Now this is the profit. This is the exact real profit. But 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 they are not talking about the total profit. They are talking about what could be the minimum profit on this whole transaction. they are they are saying this they are asking this so let me do one thing i have to let me write this here okay so profit i am writing here x percent of 40 into x plus 100 minus x percent of 40 into 80 minus x and rest of thing uh, rest of the things i have to clean now to make you the to make you understand the concept of minimum how we will find the minimum percentage so let's do this okay
okay let's talk about this the word is minimum and this is the most important thing we are going to discuss here okay, okay now let's change the concept a little bit i am saying that find find minimum value of 5x i am saying this to you i i am saying this to you find minimum value of 5x so we'll think about it you can say that uh, now we this 5 this 5 is constant it can be minimum or maximum by the value of x so you can take like you say that the value of x is minus 10 your friend says that it can be minus 1000 your second friend can say that oh, okay x is minus 29 million and your third friend say that it can be 29 trillion in minus so you cannot decide what is the minimum value of 5x if someone asks you like someone simply just simply come to you and ask you what is the minimum value of 5x what is the minimum value of x without giving any condition just ignore them and tell them that you cannot find out this is c and d you understand that okay let me do one more thing if i say that the minimum value of 5x square so now you have to think think like a pro like in x square this is 5x square or you can simply say that you have to find out x square whatever negative term you put here it automatically gonna be positive whatever negative you you will put here it always gonna be positive so minimum value of x square will be zero so if someone asks you what is the minimum value of 6x square simply say to them that oh this is zero you remember that this is zero if someone asks you what is the minimum value of 6x square it automatically become zero now so what we need to exactly do like let me write the main equation by which your concepts are getting uh, more clear so number is I, I am just writing that x square plus 8x plus 25 if I ask you what is the minimum value of this equation for you or for for what value or for which value of x this is minimum now this is the big thing you understand that this is a big thing okay let me let me just let me write uh, let me make it x square minus okay hmm. now uh, the question is i have to find out the minimum value of this fraction or you can say that i have to find out the uh, maximum value of this fraction uh, okay let's say minimum value and i i can make you understand from the plus sign as well no problem about that so you have understood one thing in your eighth class or ninth class that somehow when you see these type of equations you used to solve it by two methods now what I'm going to do here I just I am going to make the factorization by the perfect square method because initially i have explained it to you you can find out the minimum value of this but not this so i need to make this equation like this you got that i hope you got that so let's do the perfect square method and now what how to do perfect square this is a square this is uh, we know the formula that a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square so how to make the perfect square 
this is 8x divided by 2 this number should be divided by 2 the coefficient of x should be divided by 2 and after dividing by 2 what you getting that is 4 add the square of 4 and subtract 4 now look this becomes x square minus 8x plus 4 whole square 16 4 whole square minus 16 this is plus 25 so this is a minus b whole square plus minus 16 plus 25 plus 9 I hope you understand that this becomes x minus 4 ka whole square plus 9 now if you put x is equal to 4 this whole things become 0 and this is a perfect whole square number so 9 is the remaining thing so on x is equal to 4 this value should be minimum on x is equal to 4 the whole value should be minimum so if you put x is equal to 4 in here you will get the answer okay and there is one more thing if let's suppose the coefficient of x, x square is 3 so it's in a starting divided by 3 okay so value depends this whole complete value depends on the value of x and the value of x should be 4 to make this equation minimum i hope you understand the concept whatever number you are having here you have to do, make the perfect square like this because initially i have explained that you can find out the minimum value of this fraction because this is a perfect square it can only be zero the minimum value of any perfect square number which contains a variable term is always zero you have to make in your mind now let's talk about it let's talk about this i just want to say that now let's solve this i hope you understand that guys okay 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 <laughs> okay hmm so the number I am having and I'll just do in seconds and now it it will take only some seconds to solve th this question I think now you learn the concepts also hmm. okay so x percent of 40 x 100 minus x percent of 40 80 minus 6 so what I'm going to do here I take this 40 percent common right 40 percent is common from my side now what I'm having here x square plus this is 100 minus 6 into 80 minus 6 into 80 minus 6 okay so this is x square plus 100 into 80 that is I think 8000 hmm? yes hmm. our uh, my uh, minus 100 x minus 80 x and minus x square uh, this is minus x square so if you solve that that uh, <clears throat> we have taken 40 out common so uh, what happens here 100 minus x into uh, minus 80x minus x square I think I have done everything uh, right here okay hmm. <laughs> okay you just find out the number which we are dealing in here right did uh, just check out the multiplication once what I have multiplied is it correct because with due to some problem it can create something right so that uh, x percent I take common 40 percent so that is x square simple and 100 minus x okay mm -hmm. I, everything is fine except one thing uh, minus minus this is plus x square <laughs> otherwise uh, the answer should be 
uh, C and D. <laughs> you understand that? The answer must be C and D if I didn't multiply it by that. So that is plus x square. This is my mistake. What I was doing here. You understand that? Now what I have taken outside that is 40%. Okay. No problem about it. Now look here. What I can write here? 2x square. This is the number. This is the exact thing we are dealing here. Uh, minus 180x. Okay. Plus 8000. Okay. No problem about it. This is 40%. This is the exact profit we are, we are going to calculate here. Now take two common from here. 2 into 40%. Now what we can write here? x square minus 90x plus 4000. Right? We can write here x square minus 90x plus 4000. Now we have to find out the minimum or maximum value of only this. Because this is already set, you know, the value, uh, we can get the minimum or maximum value only because of this. Okay, so what we'll do here, 2 into 40% and this is x square minus 90x. So I said initially, there's half of this number. So you get 2x square minus 90x plus half of 90, that is 45, whole square I 45, that is 2025. Because it is very easy that you all know the whole square of 45. You all know that. Okay, this is that is 2025. And do one more thing. Add also here mine subtract 2025. And this is 4000. Okay, now look at this number. This, this. A square plus B square minus 2AB. So what you can write here? 2 into 40%. And it becomes X minus 45 whole square. And this is 4000 minus 2025, 4000 minus 2025, that becomes 1975, right, 1975. Now, you have to just worry about this number. Now, you got out the fraction. It's very simple. You have read it. You have did it. Now, you have made it in perfect square term. So, so how to solve it how to approach this question how to solve it now you got everything here only this value you are telling me you are asking me the minimum value of this i am telling you that only this becomes zero i get the answer so on x is equal to 45 this becomes zero so this is zero now remaining this so what i have to do 2 into 40 percent of 1975 or I can simply say that 40% of either a, we can write 80% or just multiply by 2. So 1975 double twice of 1975 that is 1975 double of 1975 that is 3950 and 40% of 3950 just so, so multiply that simply multiply. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Just simply multiply that 40 to 0, 0 4 5 to 20, 0 carry 2, 4 9 to 36, 8 4 3 to 12, 3 15, 1 5 8 0, and there is 2 double 0. This percent is 1 5 8 0. That is your answer. So, guys, I hope that you understood the concept, you understood the complete concept, and you understood the complete question. So thanks for watching guys if you like the session and one thing you also need to tell me if you like it in complete English I can make some sessions in complete English also. So love you all guys take care everyone just find out the, uh, the hidden things in the questions itself you need to make your, your thoughts you need to make your perspective in arithmetic you need to think by your imagination you need to apply your thoughts take care guys thank you